What's up guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com and this video I'm going to show you how to make an Android backup on your phone. So obviously first things first, you have to be rooted and you have to have a custom recovery installed like Clockwork Mod. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to boot in to recovery. I'm just going to use uh, ROM Manager to do that really quick. So I'm just going to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, I didn't feel like doing the little combination. There's also a video, a how-to video on the channel if you want to learn how to do it, you know, the other way by using the, uh, you know, volume button and power button together. Anyway, we're here, and uh, once you're over here, what you're going to want to do is, it's pretty simple actually, you just go down to backup and restore. So I'm using the volume up and down buttons to go up and down, and then once I want to select one, I highlight it, and then I'm going to press the power key. So I'm going to hit power on right here, backup and restore, so backup and restore. And then you're just gonna go to backup to internal SD card. Now, I don't have an external SD card installed, so obviously this is my only option. Um, but I'm gonna just go ahead and tap on this. And you can see now it's backing up. So this does take a while, and it really depends on how much information you have on your phone. I don't have all that much, so it shouldn't take me that long, but really it does take, you know, over, you know, it could be anywhere between like three to 10 or maybe even 15 minutes, depending on your phone. but. Just be patient, wait for it to finish, and uh, let's go ahead and skip to the part when it's done. All right, so as you can see, it is done. It only took about three minutes or so for my phone. Um, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and reboot phone. So I'm gonna hit power. You can see the, the reboot system now was highlighted. I'm gonna let this guy power up, and then I'm gonna show you um, what you wanna do with the actual file, that our actual backup file. And um, while this is loading up, I'll let you guys know that uh, you want to do this like right after you root your phone, um, at least that's how I do it. I just rooted my phone and uh, I did this in Android backups. So that way, you know, when I would go out and, you know, flash custom kernels, flash custom ROMs, in case anything goes wrong while I'm messing with it, you know, it doesn't really, I have something to go back on, which is, you know, the stock ROM with the uh, root access. So anyway, this guy is done loading. I'll go ahead and show you what you want to do with the, uh, backup file. So I want to, I'm going to go ahead in my file explorer. So you see Clockwork Mod has now made a uh, folder. I tap on this guy and it says backup. And there you go. Now you have this little backup folder. Um, now this folder right here, you actually want to maybe connect your phone to your computer and uh, transfer this over to, uh, transfer this guy over to your computer. So that way you never lose it just in case somehow it gets deleted, especially when it's on your internal storage like that. So put it on your computer put it somewhere safe, maybe even email it to yourself so that way it's saved on your email account because you don't want to lose it because that's really, you know, your backup. Just in case you ever mess up your phone, you're going to be able to, you know, put this guy back on your phone and do an Android restore. So speaking of an Android restore, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm going to go back into Raw Manager and boot into recovery really quick. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do the restore. So the restore again is pretty much just as easy as doing the backup. Um, you just go to the uh, restore option, but I'll go ahead and show you anyways. All right, so here we are. I'm just gonna be using the volume keys again to scroll. So I'm gonna be going down to backup and restore, same place we went earlier. But this time, instead of going down to uh, backup, I'm gonna hit restore. So where you're gonna go is not to the regular restore in my case because I didn't put it on my SD card. I don't have one in there, so it's on my internal. So what you wanna do is hit the restore from internal SD card. I'll tap on this guy and you can see right there's a timestamp for that file that I just uh, backed up. I would tap this guy and uh, it would restore my phone and then after you're done, you would just hit reboot system now and you'd be done. But obviously I'm not gonna do that because I just backed it up and there's nothing wrong with my phone. So anyway, that is how you do it. That's how you do a backup and restore for an Android. Um, this is Dave from If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.